what evil lurks in the hearts of men. The shadow knows. <laughs> Once again, your neighborhood blue coal dealer brings you the thrilling adventures of the shadow, the hard and relentless fight of one man against the forces of evil. These dramatizations are designed to demonstrate forcefully to old and young alike that crime does not pay. So pretty much the first thing we're going to do with regards to the cabinet is um, we've got some cleaning to do. There's going to be uh, all kinds of uh, old, um, I don't know, waxy stuff and cigarette smoke and who knows what else on it and I've had good luck with this um, with this product here it's circa 1850 furniture cleaner um, that in combination with some 4 aught steel wool definitely does the trick so don't get unnerved uh, using steel wool on a cabinet like this this uh, 4 aught or 4 zero steel wool is, is intended to, to be used on something like this um, so we're not going to use a whole lot of the cleaner, but we're going to use a little bit. And really, I found the best way to do it is just to put a little bit right into the steel wall. And just go along where, uh, where it needs to get cleaned up. Now that I'm done with the cleaning and the uh, 4 out steel wall, I've wiped it all down to make sure that there's no uh, uh, residual cleaner left sitting on there. And now I'm going to give it a go with... Uh, with this restore finish. Now, there's all kinds of products out there that can do the trick, I'm sure. Uh, this particular stuff says that um, it gets rid of the uh, watermarks, uh, blends out scratches and blemishes, and helps restore the original color and to uh, even out the color, and that's really what it does. It's uh, got a bit of a color like stain. This particular batch is mahogany. I like to have that little tint of red in it. I think the underlying finish on this at one time was, was kind of a mahogany red. And um, to use this stuff, really, it's a case of get some on your rag and then um, just take your time and done our work on the cabinet. It's, it's time to get this radio put back together. What do you think? Yes. All right. So the first thing to go back is going to be our face plate. Um, I did clean it up with some uh, soap and water and a nice gentle plastic brush and it cleaned up really well. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get it screwed back into the cabinet where it belongs. And I have my assistant, Duncan, who's going to do it for me. Hey, are you ready? Ready. There's that screw. Get busy. Good job. Let me check. Good job. Did it right up good. All right. Great. Good job, Duncan. Oh, yeah. There you go. Now just give me a second here. As you can see, it's looking pretty nice. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. <laughs> you know what else? Yeah, I can see Duncan's reflection. See? All right, we're ready to get started, Connor. Duncan? Yep. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to um, start putting uh, things back inside the radio. And in particular, hey. I'm talking about the grill cloth. That's in. Good. <sighs> Good job. Yeah. Is there more? Yep. Okay. Nope. Good job. I've got the speaker in place. It's uh, hanging in there loosely by its four screws, so all it needs at this point is to get tightened up. knobs poke through the front three holes. OK, 
cable comes up through the little hole here and plugs in to the side just like that the antenna if you recall uh, takes off from the the chassis here and then uh, gets stapled along the inside of the radio like this and wraps all the way around there we go time for the uh, three knobs to go back on now the knobs are a little bit different in that remember one of them's going to have uh, a dot near the top it should be this one here and that's the one that's going to go here in the middle button because this is the one where you choose between uh, uh, shortwave and AM so this is the first one and that way this one it's either or as opposed to uh, one that turns all the way around the other two uh, no particular way to put them on either way will do and uh, there we are I oh, forgot one last thing before it gets plugged in and that is to get our eye back in place one of the things that really gives these old radios a great old character. Here we are. Now that we've plugged it in, we've got everything back together, it's, um, it's time to give it a go. So uh, let's see. Power button here, I'm going to put it on the uh, AM. We can pick up one of the local stations, maybe even the hockey game. And let's go. No, we don't want that. Well, there you go. That's about as much work as we're going to do on this radio, I think. Might uh, tweak it a little bit later on. No doubt it's going to need some more maintenance, maybe even some new capacitors along the way. Good cleaning once in a while, but for the most part, we're going to call it done. The shadow will demonstrate that the weed of crime bears bitter fruit. Crime does not pay. The shadow knows. <laughs>